Oh, hey guys, how are you doing? So, um, I was just looking at the Steam survey and there's a lot of interesting stuff on here. So I'm just going to give you a few highlights because I don't want to spend hours going through all of it with you guys. So let's just jump right in. Now, before we start, um, this is a survey which is conducted every month. This is the uh, November 2020, 2022 edition. And basically when you log into Steam, sometimes it will ask you to do the survey and it will anonymously send all your information off. And you can kind of compare your system against other systems and see what's happening in the industry uh, in terms of computer hardware. Now, basically, this is going to be a bias sample because this is people using Steam, which is a gaming platform primarily, but some people use it for different apps. So this isn't going to be all computers. This is just literally going to be the ones who log into Steam, but it's still very, very interesting. So Windows still has a 96% market share. And Windows 10 64 bit still has 64% uh, market share with Windows 11 uh, trying to catch up with 27%, the 4% increase, which is kind of interesting. Secondly, we've got OS X, which is Apple's uh, thingy mobob. <laughs> I'm uh, not really a big fan of Apple because I don't really like what they're doing in China personally. Finally, we've got 1.4% uh, of users using Linux. So the average user has 16 gigabytes of um, RAM installed on their system. And that's followed by eight gigabytes and 32 gigabytes uh, respectively. But overwhelmingly, 16 seems to be the average. I'm actually on 16 myself. Average Intel CPU is at 2.3 to 2.69, which again, I believe I'm kind of the equivalent of uh, so yeah, people tend to buy the same kind of hardware. So 32% are on six CPUs for their CPU. Um, 30% are on four CPUs. Now six CPUs aren't always better than four. It really depends on the power of the individual CPU. Sometimes programs can't always utilize all of the CPUs very effectively. And some people still think that having four CPUs uh, is probably the best way to go rather than six or more CPUs, which aren't quite as great. But I'm kind of average with six. Interestingly, 0.6% um, of users have uh, 24 CPUs, which is quite a lot. Uh, some have 16. I'm guessing these people have thread rippers or something because those things have a lot of CPUs. But it's kind of interesting, huh? And 0% of people have uh, 128 CPUs. <laughs> the most popular graphics card is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX uh, 10650. Personally, I'm on the RTX 3060, which I find really good, to be honest. But uh, yeah, so a lot of people are still on the first generation GTX. Um, although there's a really good spread of people on different graphics cards. We also see there's a few Intel and AMD graphics cards as well, but numbers are relatively small in terms of market share. So in terms of video RAM, the average user has eight gigabytes of video RAM. Video RAM is really important for transferring information very, very quickly to the uh, graphics processing unit. And having more video RAM is really, really good for uh, rendering videos or 3D work. So the average seems to be eight and a few people have got 12, for example, percent, uh, 12 gigabytes, sorry. Um, but yeah, the average seems to be eight, which is interesting. Now I thought this was quite interesting too. The average resolution is um, 1920 by 1080p or I or whatever. Um, a 65% of people I personally would have thought that most people would have gone for a bigger resolution. Personally, I'm on this um, smaller resolution because I actually find it's way better for recording videos uh, at this kind of resolution. Whereas if I went for the larger resolution, it just kind of causes a bit of lag. Interestingly, these other languages being used on Steam. So 35% are using English. Then we've got 26% using simplified Chinese. Now 5%. 5.8% and I suspect that's down to a lot of geopolitics. Um, I think the 
Chinese party in charge has said for they only want people using um, Steam and uh, basically games machines for about two hours a week, uh, which is very, very kind of authoritarian. I wouldn't like that. And interestingly, 10% um, of people are using Russian. Uh, I think there's probably a lot of um, German users, for example, who are using English just because they're pretty fluent in it. So um, this doesn't necessarily reflect the number of users or anything. Free hard drive space. So we've got uh, 10 gigabytes to uh, 249 gigabytes, which is the majority. Well, interestingly, if you are running a solid state drive, you probably want to keep as much spare space as possible because it actually speeds up the operating of the drive. So uh, I would say keep about 40% free or more, ideally, although obviously not everyone can, if you want the optimum speed. Now I found this interesting as well. Total hard drive space above one terabyte seems to be the most popular um, metric here. So a lot of people are going for larger drives, although the number of people with over a terabyte has gone down by 7.2%. So that's really interesting, right? Maybe more people are adopting solid state drives that tend to be a bit smaller, um, which would kind of explain uh, the increase in uh, smaller drives. Now, here we go. Poor old... Um, Facebook just invested 15 billion in their virtual reality solution. <laughs> I think they've actually put a lot more money in. Uh, the Oculus Quest 2, I think, is selling for about £400 in the UK. 41% um, of the market of uh, VR headsets are Oculus Quest 2, which is the one that's really being pushed, um, followed by Valve Index HMD. Also got the Oculus Rift here and the THC Vive is making up 7% of the market. But here's the uh, depressing uh, figure. Only 2% of Steam users um, have VR installed. Now, it could be that people use VR in different ways and they're not using Steam with VR, for example. But nevertheless, considering Facebook's basically based most of their future on these um, virtual reality goggle things. <laughs> I have used them in the past. Um, with only 2.3% market share, or 2.03 market share, I think that's pretty abysmal. I personally think they should have built games into Facebook, which anyone could play. And I think that would have been a much better business idea than trying to jump into VR, which I personally think is quite quite um, gimmicky. I don't think it is the future or whatever. Um, so lastly, just to finish off the survey, there's some other bits and bobs here too. Um, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that and I will speak to you guys soon.